Any, any time? Yeah. Ready, okay. Oh, I'm nervous. Swing, swing, swing the spinning stack. She looks so pretty. Wow. <laughs> it's really pretty iconic. Please give a nice warm welcome to Sixpence, None the Richer. It really did cause something of a scandal. Did that count as contemporary Christian music? I was looking for something bigger than myself. I wanted every song to have some sort of spiritual ramification. One more time, Apollo, for Trinity. Five, seven, yeah! We're going to do what God called us to do and live our lives authentically. In the late 1990s, contemporary Christian music was somewhere around a billion dollar industry. By the time I was like 16, you know, I was making the most money in my family. It's just a real encouragement to be a light to others. All of a sudden, I was live on the Grammy telecast with Bono and Mary J. Blige. There was no downtime. We want to first thank the Lord Jesus Christ. He's why we sing and who we sing about. Getting compared to secular artists was, I mean, that's almost part of the course in Christian music. If you like Melissa Etheridge, you'll love Jennifer Knapp. If you like Backstreet Boys, you'll love Plus One. Christian products and great prices as well. This safe for the whole family approach, that became a huge selling point. I was like, I'm all in. I'm gonna use my gift for God. I did decide to come out to the crew. I definitely remember the moment they showed at my house and kicked me out. It was a big arena tour, and this, this young person leans over the table and whispers in my ear, thank you, your music has saved me from a life of homosexuality. And I looked up and I'm going, oh my God, I never said that. The difference between gospel music and Christian contemporary music, it's black, it's white. Republican political interests in contemporary Christian music goes way back. The same way Michael Jordan is on board with Nike shoes, they want Jennifer Knapp to be on board with True Love Waits. That was like, oh shit, I, I don't agree with that. The word Christian, when applied to anything other than a human being, is a marketing term. It's a marketing term. For the most part, they're okay to cover up almost anything. It's the getting caught part that they don't know what to do with. There was an award-winning Christian music producer, and he was like, Nikki Leonti, you're a really smart girl. I'll take care of you, and then you have to be available to me for sex whenever I want. Sorry. I haven't talked about this. Um, That's the question. Jesus Christ, who are you? When my religion turned against me. From my standpoint, the people who did Christian music, they got into it because they loved they love Jesus. And what a violation it is for that to turn into a propaganda. But I still have faith when you call my name. It took so long to be able to have this talk. This is my story. I can't change it. Sharing the truth is just sharing the truth. I want to get smart to be in this room. 